This is one on one session with the Forum IS founder and director Ayush Sinha. In this session, students are asked questions to test their preparedness for the personality test. One on one sessions are not mock panel sessions. Shoriman, tell me briefly about yourself. Uh, sir, I am from Hardoi. As I told you, um, I did my BTEC in Biological Sciences Bioengineering from IIT Kanpur. And this is my fourth attempt and my first interview. And my hobbies are playing cricket, listening to audiobooks, and diary writing. Sorry, man, what is, what is the meaning of your name? Uh, sir, this is Saurya. So H is missing because in our accent, we do not, our, uh, Tongue, uh, our muscles are not so, so that we could pronunciate assets. So we have sorry and man. So it means courage in the heart. It means? Sorry means courage. Man means heart. So courage in the heart. Okay. So it's not sorry man. It's not sorry man. Sorry man. Yes, sir, this is man. Okay. So you think you have, you are, you have courage in you? Uh, sir, I, I, I like to believe that. Courage is a good quality. Being brave is a good quality, isn't it? Can yes, this virtue become a voice in certain circumstances? Can you think yes. of a circumstance? Please let me finish my question. Okay, Never okay. interrupt. Hai na? Nahi to see that okay. 30 marks will be gone. Let us be very clear with this. It is not my ego. I am a mentor. You can say me anything. But by board, if by this by mistake also happens, then we are average score and we have to decide our fate is decided. OK, so my point here is uh, so can think of a situation where this virtue may become a vice. Yes, sir. Uh, let us take the case of Galwan. So if if one side believes that they are they have been wrong in the situation and they act extremely aggressively. This can lead to a situation of war. So one have to be courageous, but at the same time, one have to one have to be wise also. No, sorry. <clears throat> Courage is a good quality for a soldier. What yes, sol sir. what would be a soldier if he is not courageous? Yes, Tell sir. some other situation where this it is clear that this is this virtue will become a voice. I will give you a hint. Summer is coming. It's going to be hot. People are likely to feel very angry if they are outside. You are sitting in your house. Therefore, you are cool headed. But if you go out right now in North India because of the high temperature, you will be automatically hot headed. I'm giving you a hint. Now think and tell me of the common situation that happens. We hear about it where this courage and braveness, these virtues become vices. OK, so have you heard of road rage? Uh, yes, sir. Usually very brave people. They come out to fight. Yes, sir. In such qualities, if you are timid, it will be better. Fair point, sir. You are from IIT Kanpur. Kanpur is given some blame for polluting the Ganges River. Yes, sir. What is the reason? Uh, so the Kanpur has a lot of tinneries and tinneries use heavy metals for uh, to, 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 to tan the leather and that is directly discarded into the Ganges River. What are heavy metals? The heavy metals are the metals that are in the D block in the periodic table. So these would be cobalt. Sorry, uh, sorry, man. I am not. I am from a humanities background. I have never studied science, so I don't know what is a heavy metal, not a periodic table. Can you tell me in layman terms when you said a heavy metal, what do you mean? If I had to describe it in the layman term, uh, these, these are metals like cobalt, palladium, nickel. So uh, the atomic mass is very high. I, I, I do not. Uh, I, I am not able to find a way to describe it in the simplest terms. 
can you tell me describe them by the impact that they have on environment is it possible like for example they last for a very long time in uh, in the you know in the atmosphere or they have a bio, they have high bioaccumulation something like this is it possible no uh, yes they have a very high bioaccumulation rate so uh, when metals go inside our body they keep accumulating uh, so for example the when the heavy metals from kanpur are discarded into the ganges so fissages so the the metals go inside the fissages and when we eat the fissage so uh, these heavy metals keep accumulating inside us and our body is usually not able to discard them out of our body sure man why so many iitians are coming for civil services these days <laughs> it is mostly because there are so many iitians and uh, when we are in the iit we get to connect with people who are also preparing for civil services and that that helps us in this way okay any other reason can you come again can you just come again why they are coming for civil services um said so the first reason i told you was that there are so many iitians and the second reason that i told you was uh, we can get get a proper guidance from our seniors so we know what to do in the civil services so that helps us and there is also a certain degree of confidence that we have cleared one tough exam and we may very well be able to clear the next one also but this confidence is a very new found confidence 10 years back iitians were not so confident they because for some reason 10 years back they were not coming just 10 years back in my first mocks that i was taking out of 10 people hardly there would be three iitians today we have seven there is another reason apart from it uh, said so this certain area such as uh, civil engineering there are very few less very few good paying jobs so that could also be one reason <clears throat> civil and electrical people you so you are blaming them on the civil and electrical departments that these people are not having jobs so they if we put civil mechanical and electric electrical engineering they make a very large chunk of iit so that is just number bias and they you saying they are not able to got get job anywhere so they are coming for civil services sir i think the nature of the industry is such that it is not their fault you have diary writing as one of your hobbies yes sir when did yes sir this hobby uh, sir when uh, sir around 4 years back what was the trigger point uh, sir i was extremely depressed so i started diary writing why what was the reason for your depression in adolescence and youth you are such a young man going through anyway so how has it helped you cope up in life what how what changes has it brought in your personality um, that it has helped me realize that there are certain repetitive patterns that can cause anger and that can trigger depression so i tend to avoid those trigger points okay some students have come and said that sir we have started writing diary it helps us in conflict resolution with our siblings can you say how <laughs> um uh, sir it helps us to reflect on our own action so if we are having a fight it helps us realize that what mistake we are making and wh- what was the time when we overreacted and if there is a situation where we could resolve a conflict peacefully so this also reinforces us that we pursue that path rather than the path of anger and escalation so diary writing do you have write personal or private stuff in the diary and can others read it or is it personal private to you it is completely personal okay so will you allow me if i want to read your diary probably not all right can you name a person or an event where someone's diary was used against him that i am not able to recollect at this moment All right, sorry. What other hobbies do you have, <coughs> sir? I play cricket and I listen to audio books. You listen to audio books. So, what is the reason that these day youngsters are going for audio books instead of reading? 
the books themselves. <clears throat> Sir, reading requires a lot of focus. And audiobooks bring a certain element of humor from the narrator. So audiobooks are more lively in comparing to reading the books directly. And while preparing for civil services, I, I have already been reading too many books. So at a certain point, it becomes a little boring. What is essential religious practices? Sorry. Essential religious practices are practices changing which will lead to fundamental changes into the nature of the religion. <laughs> it was laid out in Sri Rur Sri Mat case by the Supreme Court. What is the reason that Supreme Court has decided not to take up the hijab row judgment or hijab row dispute in its ambit that happened in Karnataka? Sir, as far as I can remember, uh, I think Supreme Court said that first the dispute must be settled by the uh, Karnataka High Court. Yes. Any other reason that was given by the Supreme Court? Sir, I cannot remember at this moment. Sorry, the Ganga is polluted, and despite government efforts to clean the Ganga, why so many for so many years, and despite political commitment to the cause, why we are not able to clean the Ganga? What is the real challenge? Sir, the biggest challenge to the cleaning of Ganga is the population density. So when we have so many agricultural fields around the Ganga, in a, around the Ganga, so they act as a non-point source from where pollutants come. At the same time, we have industry that employ a lot of people, but at the same time, they have to be export competitive. So the government cannot just go and force them into uh, adopting certain practices that are beneficial to the environment because they have to remain export competitive. And the another thing is that there has been consistent delays in the installing of sewage treatment plants. Even under the Namayam Ganga project, a, a very minor fraction of the funds allocated have been used until now. Good, sir. So, Irman, so you are coming from an IT and uh, you're planning to join civil services. Who's more important for the country, an engineer or a civil servant? So both of them <clears throat> are equally important, especially in their own spheres. But I think a civil servant is more important because the impacts of their policies are going to be much larger than that of a single engineer. However, we can find cases where some engineer does something extraordinary. But, but what I'm saying is on an average, impact of a civil servant can be much more than impact of an average engineer. All right. So don't you think a publicly funded on publicly funded education if an ITN comes and instead of helping build the nation's infrastructure, he's coming and trying to join the civil service. It is a loss to the nation as well as a wastage of public funds. Uh, no, sir. Sir, I think we should encourage our students to pursue interdisciplinary domains that will that usually helps them build, bring new ideas and that brings innovation. So uh, I do not think this is a waste of public money. This also attracts the best talent in the country. So that is also one good thing. Why civil services, sorry, man? Sir, I am from a rural background and through nature and nurture, it is ingrained in me that this is the best way to bring change. All right, sorry. Your interview is over. Thank you, sir.